Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm putting five powerful AIs to the test by challenging them to create the same game, a fun platformer where the player collects coins to win using only basic web technologies. The AIs I'll be using are ChatGPT, Claude, DeepSeek, Llama, and Gemini. I'll start by giving each AI the exact same prompt, create a simple platformer game where the player collects coins to win. After I check out their first results, I'll ask them to improve the game based on my feedback. We'll see which AI can not only make a playable game, but also take the game to the next level with my suggestions. By the end, we'll compare the games and figure out which AI did the best job overall. Make sure to stick around to see how each AI tackles the challenge and which one comes out on top. All right, here we go. First up, we're starting with ChatGPT. I'm gonna give it a simple prompt and see what kind of game it creates. Here's what I'm asking it. Create a simple platformer game where the player collects coins to win using only basic web technologies. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, ChatGPT is generating the code and here it is. Now, let's run the code and see how the game looks and plays. The player moves smoothly and the coins are there, but there are some major issues. There's no coin counter to track progress, and since there are no platforms, I can't even reach all the coins by jumping. Right now, the game is nearly unplayable. So, let's ask ChatGPT to improve it and see if it can make the game actually fun and functional. Okay, ChatGPT gave us the code. Let's see what we got. I really hope it's a good game. I trust ChatGPT. ChatGPT added platforms, but there's a glitch. The player can only stand on them for a few milliseconds before falling off. There are no graphics improvements, no coin counter, and I still can't collect all the coins properly. Before moving on to the next AI, I'll give ChatGPT one final prompt to improve the game design and see if it can make the game look and feel better. Let's see what it comes up with. I have to say, the visual upgrades are pretty good. However, when it comes to the mechanics, there are still some glitches and a lot of issues. The game isn't quite where it needs to be. Let's move on to the next AI and see how it handles the challenge. Now, let's move on to Claude AI. I'm going to give it the same prompt I used with ChatGPT. Create a simple platformer game where the player collects coins to win using only basic web technologies. Let's see how Claude handles it and if it can do any better with the design and mechanics. First of all, the game looks good at first. Let's test the mechanics. The result with Claude AI is impressive. Everything is there, no glitches, and the game is much more functional. The movement is a bit rough though, so it's not completely smooth. Overall, the result is great. Let's ask Claude if it can improve the game even more. Claude AI did a very good job. The design looks amazing, and it even added particle effects when the player jumps and collects coins. There are also shadows which make the game look much better. I think if we kept asking Claude to improve, it could eventually create a fully complete and polished game. But to be fair in this challenge, we need to move on to the next AI. The result with Claude was very impressive. Now let's see how the next AI performs. Now let's test Meta AI. I gave it the same prompt and it provided three separate scripts, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. First impression, there are no platforms. And at first I thought I wouldn't be able to reach all the coins, just like with ChatGPT. But then I realized that if I keep pressing space, the jump gets higher, which is actually a nice feature. I tried to finish the game, but I noticed an issue. 
the coins keep respawning even after collecting them, so there's no actual win condition. I reached 100 points in the score, but the game just kept going. Overall, the game is playable and works pretty well. Now, let's ask Meta AI if it can improve it and see what happens. Sadly, after the improvement, the game doesn't work anymore. I tried to explain the problem to Meta AI, but there was no solution. The initial result was good, but after the changes, it broke the game. So, I think it's time to move on to the next AI. Let's see how the next one performs. Okay, now we're with DeepSeek. I gave it the same prompt and it provided three scripts as well. HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Let's check out the game. Right away, I see some major issues. The player, which looks like a ball, is flying and I can't even reach the coins. That's a big problem. Unfortunately, I tried to get DeepSeek to fix it, but there was no solution. So, let's give it another chance by opening a new conversation and asking it the same thing. Maybe a fresh start will give us a better result. Okay, the new version looks much better. The player moves properly and I can collect coins, which is a big improvement. But there's still a problem. I can't reach all the coins and there are no platforms, which is essential for a platformer game. So let's ask DeepSeek if it can improve it. All right, now it added platforms, but there's another issue. I can't move from one platform to another. That's bad. I don't know what's going on with DeepSeek, Normally it performs well, but we can't go any further with it in this challenge. Let's move on to the last AI and see how it handles the task. The last AI in the challenge is Gemini. I gave it the same prompt and here's the game it created. Right away, I really like the visual style. The black and white combo is simple, but looks really cool. However, like the others, there are some major issues. If I jump, the player just flies and I can even go under a platform, press space and suddenly teleports up. I tried explaining the problem to Gemini and asked it to improve the game, but there was no real improvement. That's unfortunate because visually, the game has a lot of potential. If the jumping mechanics worked properly, this could have been a solid platformer. So I think we have to stop the challenge here. Now, let's rank the top three AIs based on their performance in this test. I think you all will agree with me, Claude takes the top spot. It made the best game among all the AIs, with great design, smooth mechanics, and even extra details like particles and shadows. From my point of view, Meta AI comes in second. It had a good start, but after trying to improve it, the game broke. And for third place, I'd say DeepSeek. It had potential, but struggled with basic mechanics. Let me know in the comments what you think, which AI was your favorite. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.